All right, everybody, so the Texas Longhorns are going to be facing the Arkansas Razorbacks this Saturday on November 16th, 2024. Now, the Texas Longhorns right now are favored to win by uh, – they got uh, it opened at 16.5 points. Right now it dropped down to a 12.5-point favorite. Now, the last, those that might be saying, hey, well, you know, let's, let's not get too cocky, Texas fans, right? This did happen last time. <laughs> last time you had a – you had Arkansas win the game, and they won pretty decisively. Towards the, it, it was close and uh, midway through the third quarter, yes, but they ended up going and putting putting together a pretty decisive third and fourth quarter end, and that you know the the rest is history. That was the welcome to the SEC moment for Texas. Uh, Texas got their asses whooped, and uh, Arkansas lost forty to twenty one. That one sucks to your rival. Uh, and then that's following the year, or that's following probably somebody pointed out on Twitter. They're like, "Hey, this might be the worst loss in Texas history. Try and find me one otherwise." And they were talking about the previous Arkansas loss that we had uh, back in, I believe it was uh, 2014. Let me double check. And yeah, that was the. <laughs> this is the 2020 uh, 2014 year. We had a whopping 59 total yards of offense right there. 57 of those yards were passing, two yards of, of, on 18 rushing attempts. The, uh, that just <clears throat> not a good day. We haven't done well versus Arkansas baseball. As you all know in baseball, Arkansas might have had they, – they pretty much had the upper hand on us the last couple of years. So, a former Texas Longhorn rival back in the Southwestern Conference, Arkansas has been beating the ever-loving crap out of us. Let's just call it what it is. So, Texas is looking to go reverse that and then also – you know, just solidify their chances of going to the SEC title. This is looking really crazy. If Texas can avoid having another loss in the season, <clears throat> Texas should make it in the SEC title game. So, as we get into the preview, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you like the video, and then also comment down below your thoughts on the game coming up. It is, it's, it, this is, I think, depending on who you are, if you're one of these like, uh, people like with Oklahoma, like, oh, every, you know, this is going to be really hyped up. It's a rivalry. They're going to be charged up for this game no matter what. That's how you're, you're – I don't think anything – I don't think any sort of analysis or stats or anything like that is going to sway you from that, and that's okay. And then vice versa, if you really have your – if you've watched Arkansas and you go and you say, you know, I, I'm really not that worried about it, I don't think the other side of it where somebody's going to – somebody might say, hey – this is Arkansas. This is Vietnam, right? They call it Vietnam for a reason. There, there's the old stories about people, Longhorn fans having to carry extra shirts uh, just so that they can get gas pumped, <laughs> you know, because the, the gas station would deny them gas back in the day. So, you know, this is, this is a really charged rivalry, and we're going to have to see which side is right on that, but I think it's going to be a little bit of both, but I'm leaning on the statistics side. I mean – not just statistic, but I've watched Arkansas. Like, from the first week, I called them ass. I really didn't think they were that good. Uh, Taylor Green is a really special talent, but it's just it, – it's not – like, he can't – he can't play for 11 guys on the field. Now, they do have a really good wide receiver, and they do have a really good running back. That running back, you might be familiar with him. His name is Jaquindon Jackson, former quarterback from the University of Texas that moved on to Utah to play running back and is now Arkansas. Uh you look at that, they, like, so this is the Texas offense versus the Arkansas defense. And actually, real quick, before we go into the stats, just want to talk about the weather real quick. Arkansas might have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, the Texas Longhorns are going to be playing with some pretty chilly weather. They're going to be out there warming up at 47 degrees. Uh, now, the reason why I say this might be a little bit of an advantage is Texas, I don't think we've really had really chilly weather. We might have the last week, but this is going to be kind of a new feeling for our Texas uh, for our team. Hopefully, it's just something that's overblown completely, not not to worry about. Partly cloudy, shouldn't be too windy. Uh, it's going to be a little windy, but you know, shouldn't be anything major, you know, major gusts or anything like that. So we should be doing fine on that uh, portion. So the weather portion right there. Now. Onto the offense versus the Arkansas defense. So this is the Texas offense versus the Arkansas defense. And you look at Texas, we're pretty much a top ten, uh, top ten team. 
and pretty much almost any category you want to outside of rushing. Uh, now, I know third down conversion, yards for play, those aren't necessarily where they need to be. But had a couple rough games. Let Those those are kind of bouncing back up. I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, passing offense is going to be there. The Arkansas passing defense just is not, as you can see, the stats are showing this. They're just not that great. Uh, and when I say not that great, they're not that good. Uh, Arkansas's pass defense, they <clears throat> they really need to be better. And I just, this is one of those games where I don't, I mean, I don't know. Like, Arkansas, they're, they're, okay, they're an okay rush defense, but it's one of those deals where their weakness on defense does not match up against a good, uh, good passing team in Texas. So that'll be something to watch for. Uh, sorry, camera froze there for a second. But, yeah, so that'll be something to watch for, mainly on the defensive side of the ball for Arkansas. Is uh, And while the Arkansas rush defense isn't really something to write home about, I would like to see us kind of bounce back and have a really nice day versus their uh, rushing defense and kind of get those numbers looking – uh, on the right, on the right side, you know. Now to go on to the Texas defensive side, where this is really, I mean, this is where Texas is shining this year. Uh, on the defensive side of the football, you look at this. I mean, it's just the pass defense. At this point, I think it's pretty much a. I, you'd be hard pressed to say like. You would really have to come up with an argument. To, to say any other team, and I think Washington is the other team that's probably got the best argument, but you would really, really have to come up with an, a solid argument for why you would think that another defense has a better pass defense than Texas does. Now, they're going up against a uh, – now, I, the, this says – I don't know why this is Florida versus Arkansas. Uh, that's, a, that's a goof on my part. That should be Texas. Uh, that should be Arkansas versus Texas. Uh, but – so Arkansas is on offense, Texas versus defense, but the you, these little labels are right. These labels aren't. Uh, but so basically what you have here is Arkansas has a really good passing offense. And I want to say they – look, they got – I think Jaquin and Jackson's very talented. I think that you also have Taylor Green, who's really talented. And I think what you're seeing right here is you're seeing – Really, kind of a lot of athleticism. That their athleticism is, is athleticism is making up for some beef in the uh, offensive line. I think uh, now you do see that kind of. I think really you see a lot of athleticism with Taylor Green rolling out of the pocket a lot, being on the move, throwing off platform, and he's got some really good wide receivers that he's throwing to. Sorry for these glitches. I'm not able to do anything about that. My camera's just bugging. But uh, so. It'll be really interesting to watch how te how Texas does uh, versus Taylor Green. This is a this is a team Taylor Green and Arkansas. You're going to really need to remain uh, disciplined. Uh, they got a really good wide receiver who is almost leading the. Uh, I believe he's leading the conference in targets. That, uh, I believe Texas home put that stat out, or uh, no, uh, CJ Vogel on Twitter put that stat out. Uh, And they're they're going to target him a lot, and it's it's going to be a matter of Taylor and Green moving around in the pocket, getting open. Uh, you know, I just want to show off on my top row right there, but uh, getting open, getting out, you know, getting loose, getting wild, uh, and really, it's just a matter of like a, I, I I keep sounding like a broken record, but this is where the game is going to lie, and uh, can Texas stay sound on defense? Can they remain disciplined? Can they, you know, maintain their uh, edges? Really, the edges are going to be vital this game. You want to try and force and keep tail and green in the pocket. And really, you're going to have to have somebody spy him. Now, this seems like a, this just feels like a perfect Anthony Hill spy game. So we'll have to see how that works on that front. But uh, right now, I really like the way, I like the, Looks, I like the chances for the Texas Longhorns to go in there and roll Arkansas. Uh, personally, right now, I'm taking the over on the 12 points. Uh, I'm I, if I if if I had to, and I I'm going to because that's what this uh, that's what the entire point of this video is right here. Uh, I'm gonna give a prediction. Uh, 
I'll say 38 to 17. Texas Longhorns win by 21 points over the Arkansas Razorbacks. They finally get it. They get a much needed victory over the Arkansas, and I, in Arkansas being no less. This is this should be a big game. I, look, everybody's saying uh, 11 a.m. game, 12. I don't think it's really going to matter uh, to the point of all the people that say, "Hey, this is Vietnam, right?" I don't think it's going to matter whether it's 11 a.m. or a 6 p.m. kickoff. Uh, night game, early game. I don't. I just don't think it make that makes that much of a difference. This fan base is going to get. They're going to be charged up. They're going to be ready. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes on. But I'm really again. I just don't think Arkansas is a really good football team. I think they have some really good football players on their team, but I don't think they are a good team. And I think it's a great example of how individuals can't make up one team, make up a whole team. So hope you all have a great day and. Hope on Saturday we're we're singing some Texas fight at the end. All right, everybody. Hope you all have a great day. And as always, welcome.